Yeah. Drew making a video today. Now, today's topic. Hypergamy. You guys should have saw it in the title. Hypergamy. Female nature. What is female nature? Female nature is how the woman is programmed. They have a certain way of thinking that's not the same as us guys. It is completely different. And you know what? It's not a good thing nor a bad thing. It's just the way it is. So stop being a little bitch about it and get over it. The faster you get over it, the faster you can start moving on with more important things like you and your purpose. And did I mention you? Because you know, who else is more important than you? So, hypergamy. Human nature. Let's get one thing straight. Women don't love men like men love women. It's always been like that. It always will be. Now, before you go and start acting like a little simp, I get it. We were raised. I was raised. We were all... Lied to and raised to believe women are these little beautiful angels. Well, guess what? They're not. They never was. They're just good at hiding it. So it's step number one to breaking out of your whole big ass stupid cage of lies and blue pill. Because guess what? Blue pill, aka being ignorant. Everyone who is born into this world is automatically a blue pill because the way you're raised is the way people want you to see things the way they wished it was. Your opinion isn't a thing until you acquire a self-consciousness to have your own fucking opinion. So until then, it's blue pill. And the thing is, you don't know what you don't know. You're either lucky or confused. Okay? So for starters, hypergamy. Yeah, they don't love men like men love women. They don't. What she loves is the way you make her feel. She loves you in the moment of how you make her feel. And feelings can change. That's why women are emotional and men are logical. It's just a basic difference. It's always been like that, and it always will be. Now, why is it like that? Easy, female survival. Hypergamy. She's looking for someone who is better than her. And guess what? You can't be on the same level as someone else and still be looked up to. She wants someone to look up to. She may say she wants someone on her level. Or someone beneath her, nah, nah, nah. Don't, don't fall for that fucking BS. Nah, she wants someone above her. Okay, it's called high value. Women love that shit. They will do whatever and anything for the high value male. And your job is to become the high value male. But hey, if you want to be a low value male, go fucking ahead, man. Go ahead and get off this video. If you want to be a low value male, go ahead. It'll make things a lot easier for high-value males and guys who are in the process of becoming high-value. Because guess what? Those who get benefits out of life or those who keep fucking moving forward no matter how hard it gets. So she wants a high-value male. Now, what does that mean, high-value? Easy. He has more money. He's pretty good-looking or more good-looking than her. Social status. What I mean by social status, he knows people, he's good at talking, he has lots of friends, lots of friends that are girls, lots of friends that are guys. He knows people, he has contacts, that's social value. It means you're not a fucking weirdo who's gonna kidnap her. Because nowadays, nowadays, there are barely any guys working social jobs. Now, I'm gonna have people in the comments saying that, hey, hey, what are you talking about, I work a social job. Most people, most guys work hard anti-social jobs. And most women look work social jobs. Because women are somehow more social than men. But that's big ass bullshit. 
Why? I'll tell you why. Simple one. The reason why women are so much better than guys at social jobs is because they are more agreeing than men. Whether they agree or not, they will agree for the sake of agreeing. Guys, we are more, how do you say? We're more interesting. We don't go with the flow constantly. Women will, because it's their nature. Their nature is made to make them survive as best, as long as possible, no matter what. That is her nature. She is born with that. That's not a bad thing. No. It's not a bad thing. It just fucking sucks if you don't understand it. And when you do understand it, you're like, ah. Shit, now it makes sense why she ignored me. Or shit, now it makes sense why uh, I never got a girlfriend until I was like uh, 25. No, no, no. Well, don't forget the way we are, men, this generation over here. It's because of how we're raised. And how we are raised does not work with female nature. It doesn't. Maybe in the 1960s, where things had more of a control, things were going all crazy. But nowadays, no, 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 no. Nowadays, how you're raised can be the, 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 how you say, how you're raised can be the doing or undoing of your life. Now, I know that makes sense, but think about it. If you were raised, and you were raised as, as an example, you were raised as a good guy, a uh, good guy, but you're good looking as fuck, and you're naturally social, you will have way easier time than a guy who is, an example, very, very short and ugly. So if you're short and ugly, women will hate you. Like, oh man, you have no idea why. Because by her female nature, hypergamy, one, you have no value because you're not good looking. You have no social value because people who are ugly are considered to be weirdos and freaks. That's why looks matter. I'll make a video on that later. But female nature, hypergamy, it just it doesn't give a fuck of what you want, okay? It's about survival. It's about her getting the best that she can from what she's got. That's why women have such delusional expectations, right? So she does not love you. She only loves who you are in the moment, and that can change. That's why she will always make sure there's another guy next in line when she wants to replace you and that's called monkey branching it's a female tactic to use by nature women are relationship creatures they base their value on relationships so in that sense they will always have someone in line not to mention come on there are women they can go on social media up in the streets at a store at a restaurant a lot of guys chasing them doesn't mean she wants them. No. But if she has to, she will get with them. To feel protection. To feel important. Because they have the biggest insecurities of all. Think about it. Dresses, high heels, makeup, breast jobs, boob jobs, hairdos, makeup. I already said makeup, but I'm talking about like the extreme, like huge eyelashes, makeup, hair dyes. All that has to do with just making themselves feel better and gaining the approval of others. If all men decided to ignore females for one week, the entire female population would lose their shit. And men would actually get more self-respect and respect from females if they did that. But anyway, I'm, up, I'm losing topic, my bad. I'm looking down here because I got a paper here with like a list of my videos that I want to make. No, i to keep track. But yeah, hypergamy, it's not a good or a bad thing, okay? It's just the way it is. And guess what, man? Life is cruel. You don't give a fuck what you want, what you don't want. If you're a good person, if you floss your teeth, if you hold the fucking door, or if you push a granny on the street, it does not give a shit. Why? Because there are so many people every fucking day born who die for no stupid good reason. And there's lots of bad people who get what they want and live a happy good life. And they don't deserve it. 
but that's just the way it is. It's just life. It's called accepting the truth. It's called the red pill knowledge. You accept for what it is, not for what you wish it was. The faster you accept hypergamy, the female nature, the better you can use it to your advantage, which is getting more sexy. How you do that? Take care of your face, smell good, brush your teeth, get, fix your hair, grow a fucking beard, man. You're a goddamn man. Okay, you're supposed to look like it. Don't listen to what these females say about how you gotta be clean shaven. Ah, fuck that, man. Grow your damn beard. You look good with it. Anyone looks good with a fucking beard, trust me. Try to prove me wrong, okay? Any man who grows a beard is way more masculine. And the women love that shit. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, looks. Get fit. So, you take care of your body, you take care of your looks, you take care of your face, your hygiene, your smell, your looks. What I mean by looks? I mean, like, physical looks, like, go to the fucking gym and make some muscle and eat some fucking protein. Man, stop being a skinny little fuck. I used to be skinny. I used to be fat and skinny. No, no, now. Not anymore. <laughs> fuck that. And guess what? I did that myself. Because my entourage, my family, oh, they didn't give a fuck. No, they let me become a fat piece of shit by the age of 15, 16. Then I decided, you know what? Fuck that. Because of what happened, well, that didn't feel good, that didn't look good. So, get your looks in check, get your body in check. Get your fucking health in check, go buy some fucking vitamins, make sure your health's on check. I don't, don't do some fucking research, huh? I'm not telling you to go do some stupid shit and buy a bunch of vitamins you don't need. No, 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 no. If you can't afford vitamins, then don't, okay? You don't need vitamins. The point of the story, the point of the video is for you to get your shit together. So, looks, body health what's next status money get your own shit if you're working your job try and see if you can work extra time so you can get that money talk be more social who gives a fuck if people are awkward about it or they don't do it themselves Yo, go in the bus and say thank you to the damn bus driver when you leave like yell at him like hey thank you yo okay Guess what? People are gonna look at you weird. Like, oh, who the fuck is doing that? Doesn't make sense. Now, guess what then? When you're getting up to leave, other people are gonna do that shit too. Why? Because no one wants to be the first one to break the ice. But we're social creatures. We love socializing. So, be social, you know? The same simple things, man. I, it's so simple. It's like, you, you get these things done. And you're basically in favor for hypergamy. Why? Because hypergamy is just based on the highest survival rating. Guys with good looks, have great genes. It's on the survival it's on the survival list. Having your own shit together, being social, not a weirdo means you're not a psychopath, means the girl won't get killed. Hypergamy is just it's all about her getting the best man she can for herself. Cause the man makes the woman. Okay? When the girl walks in with a high value man. It makes her look like she's on another fucking level. But if she shows up with a low value guy, people will look down on her. And she doesn't want that. Because to a woman, her self image and her public image is all that matters. Okay? Now you might say, oh no, there's some good girls. No, 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 no. Female nature works for every woman, okay? If you're with your girlfriend or you're seeing a girl, the only reason why she's seeing you is because you have a certain looks or a social status or whatever that's just perfectly well timed for her to like it. And it's not a bad thing, it's just reality. Don't be ashamed of it, you know. Learn hypergamy, okay? There are plenty of books out there. Just learn it. You learn hypergamy, man, you will get your shit and your life in check. You will you will be on your first step. To not giving a fuck. And to actually getting women that you actually want. Because guess what? Things are not looking well for guys. In a world where things aren't looking well for guys. The ones at the top. Get most. And I mean most. By 80% of the benefits. So you need to get your shit together. Because you have it in you.
what you are right now, your situation as a person, and how you are and how you think things are, and how you see the world, are all based on the last five years of how you were living. And how you are living is by nature dictated on how you were raised. And how you were raised is not how the life really works. Unless you're lucky or super good looking or born with rich parents or if you're even lucky having two parents, all right? So learn hypergamy. It's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's made for survival. So you get your looks together, get your body in check, get your money, get your freaking status up there. So you get to know people, you get to socialize more. And just by doing that, just by getting on the grind, you will slowly feel better of yourself. And that will increase your aura. Not aura, I don't, I don't really believe in the whole spirituality and stuff like that. But I believe everyone has a presence. It's like how you can tell if a weirdo, if you're a weirdo or you're not a weirdo. Feel good, you will exude that energy, and people can sense that, and the female can sense that. And guess what, dude? She doesn't want a loser. If you want a hot chick, you need to deserve that shit. And I don't mean by running after her or chasing her. I'll make a video on that too. There's lots of videos coming in, don't, don't you wait. You have to learn that the way things are. Is primarily on what how life works and life doesn't give a fuck okay kill or be killed survivor sur survivor don't survive be in favor of genetics or don't be in favor of genetics being born with both your legs or being born with one leg no one gives a fuck at the end of the day no one gives a fuck or even really cares because if humans really did care we will fix all our issues a long time ago but by nature we humans are an animal we have an instinct. We have a way of thinking. Okay? So learn female nature. Get your shit together. Look better. Okay? Because female nature, it's just... It doesn't care. So if female nature doesn't care, which means half the population doesn't care. And if you're part of the population that does care, you will stay where, you, where you've always been. Which most of the time is somewhere where you get nutting, and you're treated like shit, and you're always confused, and you never get the girl, and you'll never get that threesome of your dreams, much less you're the fucking harem of your dreams, because most, I know some of you guys out there had that dream, don't worry, I've had it once too, a couple of times. Okay? So learn from nature, get your shit together. I'll make a video on how to actually talk to women, how to be around women, how to not be a loser. This video is just all about hypergamy, but I've ranted on so many weird things. It's most of it, no, all of it's fucking important, okay? All of it's fucking important. But hypergamy, it's all about what's best or what she wants. And what she wants is the highest value guy she can get. That's all that matters. Not, not your feelings, not the romance bullshit because that shit creeps them out. What matters to her in hypergamy? is the best outcome she can get to ensure her protection for her offsprings, for herself, and for her public image, right? Thanks for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to, don't forget to like, comment, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.